frequently asked question and I am going to give you your three options and which one that I recommend all the time, both for everyone that I have the pleasure of working with and also myself. If you want help understanding Kajabi and doing it in an incredibly simple, efficient, and strategic way, then definitely make sure to click subscribe, hit the bell, make sure that you follow right along because this is my area of joy and satisfaction and I have so much fun making this understandable and doable for people like myself that are blending multiple pieces into their business world. Okay, so the question is, can I change the name of the offer in the email that is sent? Now, what that question really means is in the email that gets sent, once someone successfully buys my offer, I don't want the offer title to show up in that email. So let me show you exactly where in Kajabi this is happening. All right, you're always going to start at the dashboard level. So we're talking about offers. Those are happening from within the sales tab. So click on your sales tab. And then once you're in sales, you're going to click and select the offer. I'm in my test site. I'm just going to pick this top offer. You would obviously pick the offer that you are customizing. And then you're going to move on down the page to the post purchase section. Now, this is the section that kicks in when someone successfully completes a purchase. So you have two choices, the live where you send them and then the email that's going out. We are gonna zero in on the email. So you can tell there are three choices, default email, custom email, and none. Quickly, in your mind, before I give you the answer, what number, one, two, or three, are you gonna pick? Default is number one, custom is number two, and none is option three. Then at the as we move through this video, you'll see if your gut was spot on or if you have the luxury of changing your answer before putting in all the time, energy, and effort that goes into customizing our Kajabi sites. So first up, the default email. This is what is going to be selected for us. You can tell because there is a blue rectangle around the choice. Now, the default email, this is what's causing the issue. So the question, can I change the offer title in the email that is sent? This is the problem child. So let me show you where the problem child's language is living so that you can understand why I do not like this option. I never choose the default email. Default emails are controlled by going to settings. In the bottom left-hand corner, click on settings. This will open up the settings section in Kajabi. We want to migrate over to email templates. We're going to click on that. When you're in here, and I wish Kajabi used the same naming conventions across the platform, but until they do, you do have to exercise a little bit of like, hmm, would that be the same thing? So on the offer, we know it was called post purchase email. When we're in the email templates, it is called just something slightly different, but I bet you could guess what it is. That is the offer purchase confirmation. That is the same thing as post purchase email. So you can click on the little pencil edit button. When you do, here's the email that gets sent. So when we are asking the question, can I change the offer title? We are talking about this line right here, okay? This is our problem child. So the answer, yes, you can absolutely change what is in this email, but, I don't think you want to do that because this is a site-wide email, meaning when you change it here, it changes it for all your offers. So unless you are running a one offer site, which I don't know really anybody using Kajabi that is running a one offer site. If you are running one single offer, you can absolutely change this default template because you're only selling one thing, so it doesn't matter because it's 
always going to be the same thing. But if you're like me and thousands of others, you're selling more than one offer. <laughs> you don't want to change this because you change this, you change them for all your offers. So we're going to leave this guy alone. Don't like him. Never recommend using him. We're going to go back. So we've eliminated choice number one. So if you picked choice number one just a few seconds ago, that we are going to save you a lot of time, energy, and effort. So let's move on to choice number two. And choice number two is custom email. I can hear you saying, yes, Tamsin, that's what I want. I want to customize the email. I want to send a custom email. This is the right choice. You'd be wrong. No, don't like this choice either. This is why underneath the custom email, this is where you need to type. I don't know about you, but as a non-coder, this looks a little bit intimidating. I immediately see at the bottom of my page right here where it says, I have to use liquid objects. Oh my gosh, what's liquid? I'm gonna screw it up. Ah, what's going on? Yeah, totally, totally familiar feeling. I'm right there with you. This, you can type an email, but you can see very limiting. And if you don't know what you're doing, you might be completely intimidated. I am. So choice number two, uh -uh, don't choose it. That leaves us with choice number three. And if you picked choice number three, when we were doing it at the beginning of the video, you would be correct. A thousand percent correct. But I can hear you saying, but I want to send an email. Absolutely. And you can. You can send the most beautiful, most customized, ideally perfectly tailored to this offer email that you want to send by choosing number three. So we choose none. Now we have to go get the email. So we're going to click on add automation. When you click this, your first choice is going to be made for you when the offer is purchased and it's the offer that we're working on, which is what we want. Then we can do two things here. The first one, which is subscribe to an email sequence. You can absolutely do this. And if you've got the sequence written, by all means, select it and send your email sequence. That's choice number one. The other one you can do is send an email. When you click send an email, you can type right here. You want to make sure it goes out to the person you can change your subject line. You can also put emojis in your subject line. So if I want to pop in a little confetti, I can pop in a little confetti there. So you can give it a little bit of sparkle to hopefully capture their attention when they are opening up the email. And then right here, you can put whatever you want. So you can absolutely call the offer what you want to call it. If you want to include the company name and address, meaning your own, some people like to have that for invoice purchases, purposes, sorry, uh, you can absolutely do that. You can add an image. You can add a button. Buttons are really, really helpful, especially when we need them to click here. So I'm just going to put in one of my own email URLs right there, but I'm going to put in click here. Now we're going to have it open in a new window and we'll leave it black, which is totally fine. Uh, we want the button color in a second. Let's do 003960. That is not what a button should look like. So there is something going on with Kajabi because it usually is a really pretty button. So let's just put in, let's try something else. And I always like to uh, do this in real time and I don't always edit out all the missteps because guess what? When you're creating in Kajabi, you're gonna have a misstep. And so if all you see are perfectly edited videos, you start to go, oh my gosh, am I the only one that doesn't get this? No, not in the slightest. Sometimes tech does this. so. I will at times purposely, absolutely leave these in. And that is why. So text to display, let's do 
log in now. Uh, yep, that's good. Let's give it a new window again. Let's see if we can change the 3960. Okay. You know what? Yeah, this is not what a button should look like at all. The button should look like a rectangle. So for whatever reason, there is something a little kooky going on with Kajabi at the time I am making this video. So when you're doing it, if it's not looking right, then get rid of it. Do not spend hours trying to understand why. I have been using Kajabi since 2015. If I spent hours trying to get weird tech glitches to sort themselves out, I would have probably lost months of time. So if it's being a little kooky, then you change it and you say, okay, I'm gonna just say click here. Cause again, it, that should work. It, there's no reason for it to be fluky, but I am not gonna take the time. And bonus, I can show you how to handle when things don't go the way they're supposed to go. And we'll just pop this in, put in the login, target, new window, click okay. Looks great. All right, so this is choice number three. This is the one that I use. It is the one that I recommend. It is the one that is going to make your life easy, easy, easy. Click save and now that email is sent. Now, you wanna go above and beyond. Here is a quick little bonus tip. So you can have both the sending an email right after the purchase is made as like your purchase confirmation email and you can still send an email sequence all you need to do is add a second automation so again when the offer is purchased this might be what i would call your onboarding or welcoming people into their purchase a little bit different than the post purchase email so this sequence, I use a standard naming, uh, naming convention. So email sequence, we'll call it buyer of New York City and we'll click save. So now I can have both things going out. This works really well because if you are using this email sequence on other offers, which a lot of us do, especially like different payment plans in terms of one was all full pay, one was three payments, one was six payments. They all might have the same welcoming sequence, onboarding email sequence, but they would have more than likely a different offer purchase confirmation. This gives you the best of both worlds in my opinion. If you like how I explain things and teach things and want the added benefit of having someone who has a law degree that travels with business strategy and I have been blending my babies and my business together since 2011. I know what it's like to have to do a business with limited time constraints. Make sure, hit subscribe, let me know in the comments which choice you are gonna go with, one, two, or three.